గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ నమస్కారం వెల్కమ్ టు డే ఫోర్టీన్ క్లక్ టూలో స్పోకెన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ సిరీస్లో మీ అందరికీ స్వాగతం తెలియజేస్తున్నాను మీతో ఉన్నది ఇస్మాయిల్ మరి ఈ కార్యక్రమానికి మిమ్మల్ని అందరినీ స్వాగతం తెలియజేస్తూ టుడే వీ హ్యావ్ ఎ వెరీ గుడ్ గుడ్ టాపిక్ టు బి డిస్కస్ అండ్ రిసోర్స్ సో బిఫోర్ దట్ ఐ వెల్కమ్ ఆల్ ది రిసోర్స్ పర్సన్స్ టుడే విత్ అస్ డాక్టర్ పూర్ణిమ రవి గారు ఈజ్ విత్ అస్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ మేడం ఐ వెల్కమ్ టు ది టుడే సెషన్ అండ్ ఐ ఆల్సో వెల్కమ్ టూ మోర్ రిసోర్స్ పర్సన్స్ డాక్టర్ కోడి నానాజీ హీ ఈస్ ఫ్రమ్ జెడ్పిహెచ్ఎస్ గుంటపల్లి పైక్రాపేట మండల విశాఖపట్నం అండ్ మిస్ రచన గారు ఫ్రమ్ కడప డిస్టిక్ షీ ఈస్ ఆల్సో స్కూల్ అసిస్టెంట్ ఇంగ్లీష్ అలాంగ్ విత్ అస్ పోకరి శ్రీనివాస్ గారు ఈజ్ ఆల్సో విత్ అస్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ సార్ మరి యూ అండ్ యూ పీపుల్ ఆర్ వాచింగ్ దిస్ లైవ్ సెషన్ ఆన్ ఫేస్బుక్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ యూట్యూబ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఎ ఇంట్రాక్టివ్ సెషన్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఇఫ్ డౌట్స్ ఆర్ క్వారీస్ యూ హ్యావ్ యూ కెన్ పోస్ట్ ఆన్ కామెంట్ సెషన్ సో వీ కెన్ డౌట్స్ సో లెట్ అస్ సీ టుడేస్ టాపిక్ మేకింగ్ సజెషన్స్ అండ్ గివింగ్ అడ్వైస్ వావ్ వండర్ఫుల్ టాపిక్ so i request poker shinwas garu to formally introduce our uh, resource person to the viewers thank you um, good morning andhra pradesh uh, today we have uh, here with us uh, uh, dr r pudma academic consultant and teacher trainer and she is a celta certified teacher and phd in, in applied linguistics the training consultant for british council for two, uh, in the year 2019 and conducted four advanced modules for real research at iit roopar so such a well style uh, you know resource person is with us with the team of uh, kodi nanaji and rachana garu so madam uh, please start your session with your team thank you thank you uh, ismail garu and shrinivas and garu for the wonderful introduction uh, i'd like to thank all the stakeholders for having us to present today's session uh welcome to all the teachers to webinar 14 i'll share my screen now is it in full screen mode now sir yes exact yes yeah. all right apologies to all the teachers for the slight technical issue that i happened we'll continue with the session over so we I, earlier in the beginning of the session i had suggested if you had looked around you would find different objects around you have you ever wondered the amount of suggestions that would have been offered and or advice as well in order to fine tune that object in fact you and i express advice and offer some valuable suggestions to a lot of people around us this is simply because of the roles that we play every role requires us to switch over suggestions and advice Today's session, let us look at how we could do that effectively in English. This comes for today. We would understand the contextual meaning of advice and suggestion. In not every role or context, we need to express advice. Sometimes we are expected to suggest. So what is the difference between the two? and how would we express the same effectively what are the right phrases that we use in order to switch from advice to giving suggestion and vice versa we will also identify ways to express the both functions effectively can we make statements can we ask a question so how do we receive and also give advice and suggestions lastly as teachers we need to ensure that our learners also practice giving suggestions and offering advice we may be handling different subjects but we will look and reflect on the context that we teach that we could plan effective tasks that the students take on roles to suggest advice in the classroom we have a wonderful demonstration lined up towards the end of the session which will be handled by dr kodi and miss uh, rachna let us look at what is a suggestion it is understood 
that when you suggest something to someone, you are probably recommending a probably, let's just say a place to go to, an object, you're giving a recommendation. It also means that you're providing valuable tips, tips that will help them to achieve their outcome. It could be tips to improve a recipe. Maybe I would suggest you to add more salt. It could also be sharing hints and clues. Hints and clues are not just exclusively with games that children play with. Sometimes in, in the environment as well, we offer suggestion in terms of, you may find the book on the first track. Why don't you check it behind the other book, right? The last is re-understanding on a subject. Now, this could also take place in a row, on a row. Supposing you're traveling for the first time by bus, you would require some understanding on which bus would take you to your location. So you would ask a fellow passenger waiting in the bus stop to suggest the probable routes that the bus would take. So these are a couple of areas through which you can make suggestions. Let us look at a few examples. In the first image, you find a yellow color. Imagine there is a conversation between two friends and one friend suggests to the other friend who's interested to buy a car, stating, I suggest you buy a yellow car instead of a green one. Note that in suggestions, you can also offer options. So options go along with suggestions. In the next image, you find a hairstylist and a probable customer. So Raghu asks his hairstylist, could you suggest a good hairstyle for summer? Likewise, in the last image that you find, you find a few books. Vesa Jayanti suggested to give Mala story books for her birthday. Now make note of the yellow car, a good hairstyle, or the storybooks. These are options. It is not necessary that the receiver of the suggestion follows through. Maybe the, my friend would suggest me to get a yellow car, but it is not a compulsion that I choose yellow. I may ask another friend for a suggestion or maybe a family member. So make note of the fact that suggestions are options. This would be important when we go to what advice is. Like it, let us look at how we could express suggestions meaningfully in English. The first option would be through standard phrases. A simple way to do that is look at the table given on the left. You have your subject, it could be I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. Using two modal forms of might, that might want to, which is a positive, and then might not want to, is a negative, or we could use could. These modal forms of might and could express that it is an option, unlike other modal forms of must and ought to. This is a slight difference between advice and suggestion. Now let us just look at might and could. We have used an image that was used earlier as well in terms of might want to and could. We go back to the situation of the hairstylist and Raghu. So Raghu would express, I might want to cut my hair short some, which means that he insists that the hairstyle might say like, yes, you should probably have a different haircut. It would be better for summer because of the heat. Or the, the stylist would prefer to, you might want to cut my hair shorter for summer. So there's a difference between the first sentence and the second sentence. This first sentence has I and the second sentence has you. Both the references are directed towards the hairstylist. The next one is, he might not want to keep his hair long in summer. This could be probably a family member or probably a colleague who might just think that it's time for a haircut and would want to give a hint. 
the last sentence, we could choose a different hairstyle. Again, it's an option. If you want to keep your hair long or short, He's, this hairstylist suggests that we could do something different with your hair for the summer. These are suggestions that could be expressed. The next way, let us look at the next way, is again, in the form of a question. These questions would make the receiver to reflect on the options that could be suggested. These questions would engage the receiver to think of more options. Look at the image of the books. The context that was given was suggesting of giving books as a birthday gift. So probably the friend says, why don't you buy storybooks for Mala on her birthday? Or why don't we buy storybooks for Mala on her birthday? Or why don't they buy storybooks for Mala on her birthday? So the answer to, all, to the question, irrespective of you, we, and they, would be a reflection that would justify either buying books or giving toys or any other present for Mala's birthday. So also, when you post these questions, supposing this was posted to me, why don't you gift Mala storybooks? I would say that probably I want to give her a musical instrument and a kitchen set on her birthday. So there again, it generates more options. The next one is, why doesn't he want to buy storybooks for Mala on her birthday? Or why doesn't she want to buy storybooks for Mala on her birthday? Or why don't they want to buy storybooks for Mala on her birthday? Again, the receiver would list the reasons of why they don't want to buy books, but along with it, the options that they would such as a kitchen set or a, another toy or a musical instrument that they want to gift instead of a set of books. So look at the table on the left. This is the structure that you would use when you post a question. It starts with why don't or why doesn't. And the subject would differ in terms of whom you're asking for suggestion. In the next form, this again is a question quite similar to the previous way of asking for suggestions. But here we start with why not? When you start any question with why not, it directly makes the receiver to think answers to justify for the decisions that are taken. When you say, for instance, why not buy a yellow car? Probably the receiver would say, yes, that seems like a good idea, but I like green. So you have an option of green given and also a preference. Next, que next question that is posted is, why not buy a smaller car? Why not buy a bigger car? Maybe a smaller car, it's easier to travel in, in traffic that is there in Chennai. Or a bigger car, if I want to buy a bigger car, I would say that probably I can take my entire family in the car and travel all around. So there again, I give a reason for the suggestion that is given. Why not buy a scooter instead of a car? Again, this question would have a number of reasons that the receiver can give. Make note of the fact that all these options needn't have to be followed through. Just because the, the speaker suggests to buy a smaller car, I needn't have to go through it. However, it puts me in a position to reflect critically as to what decision I can make in terms of buying a car. In the next slide, we look at the meaning and purpose of advice. So far, we looked at suggestions and the ways that we could express suggestions through phrases of using morals of could and might. We also looked at two ways of questions through which we could get suggestions. Now, I had may insisted that you make note of the fact that suggestions are options that needn't have to be followed through. We will now look at closely advice. So when you offer advice to someone, 
you provide guidance you guide them towards a, a towards a process or stages or a path through which they come out successful you also counsel them counsel in terms of counseling where you 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 offer advice in order to make a change in a behavioral outcome or an attitude or their or their competencies itself in terms of being a better sports person for instance next is you offer some key information key information which would also require an expert to give you an advice this and someone who has experience in the subject matter which leads us to the next point that advice is often experience based which also means that it comes along with guidance it comes to counseling and also are offering key information lastly it is when you offer advice it means you have a few recommendations that have to be applied can you understand now the difference between suggestion and advice we will get to the differences shortly but by now you would be able to understand that there is a difference and when we speak we need to be mindful of what phrases and words we use in order to receive and give suggestions and now we look at how we can give advice when you think of advice the first thing that comes to most of our minds is our parents because they have been for the longest of time offering us advice advice in our career choices in the friends we make the food we eat likes person that comes to our mind would be our teachers teachers often give advice in terms of time schedules that students should take the books that they should read and how they could improve their performance let us look at a few examples now in the first picture you have a doctor there's a dis discourse between a doctor and a patient where the doctor says you'd better take complete bed rest for 10 days in the next picture you have a teacher who advises the students you must practice all the exercises for the exam and in the last picture you have a traffic police advising a bus driver you ought not to take the main road now let us look at these three examples closely the first question is are they giving the options does the patient have an option to take 15 days of bed rest or no bed rest at all do students have an option to not do the exercises at all and does the bus driver have an option to take the main road it's simply because when you offer an advice they are a set of recommendations that have to be followed through in order to be successful in the outcome only if the patient takes complete bed rest for 10 days not 5 days or 2 days will he be able to recover simply because the doctor is an expert and out of experience he is able to give an advice to the patient in the next picture between the discussion between teachers and students it is important that the students practice all the exercises because only when they practice will they be able to perform in the exams this is advised by the teacher because she has had an experience with other students in the past who have fared well in exams simply because they practice these exam these exercises well in the last picture the bus driver has only one option and that is to not take the main road simply because perhaps there is some some form of diversion or a traffic jam and this information this key information is available through the traffic police which is why he is able to give advice 
Now let us look at a few sentence structures through which we can offer advice successfully. Now you would have to make note of the sentence structures that were shared earlier for suggestions. Note the difference in terms of the morals that we're using. That we use while giving advice are much stronger. They give a stronger appeal for the receiver to follow through. Like for instance, the models should, ought to, and had better. Note that there's a positive connotation and negative con connotation of should and shouldn't, ought to, ought not to, had better not, or had better. And then there is a contracted form for they, they'd better not, or they'd better. So these are the models that you would use when you offer advice. We'll use the example between the doctor and the patient. The patient has says that I should take complete bed rest, for which the doctor will automatically continue his advice saying that you shouldn't strain yourself, simply because the bed rest is prescribed that you don't strain yourself, which results in a speedy recovery. So you see the completion of the task of a successful outcome that the patient recovers. Ought not to, don't worry, is not used often while speaking. So you do not have to worry about using ought not to. Instead, you could just use should, must, and had better in order to convey the same meaning. For the presentation, of course, I have used it as an example so that you know that the, that ought not to simply means should and uh, must and had better. So let us look at an example where you used ought to and ought not to. He ought to take his medicines every morning before breakfast. Is there an option to take the medicine probably after lunch? No. So it is a must that the medicines are taken every morning and not in the afternoon and before breakfast. So there are two things that the patient has to follow. In the next sentence is a contracted form of they'd. They'd better get him vaccinated on time. Simply because if you don't get that person vaccinated, he's prone to fall ill. So these two are examples of advice that have to be followed. Next using yes or no questions. Now, yes or no questions, if you are aware, in any language, sometimes we as adults would post questions not expecting an answer. Like for instance, in as teachers would say, is this the way you behave? We ask our students. It doesn't mean that we expect an answer where the student says, yes, this is the way that we behave or no, this is not the way, isn't it? Likewise, when we offer advice in, in a question form, we, we expect a form of reflection as well, something similar to suggestions. So we use the model should. So should I, should you, should he, should she, should we, should they. So you ask questions to receive advice. Here. For the first, for the examples here, I have used an image that was used earlier between the exchange of a teacher offering advice to her students. So the student uh, asks for advice by stating, ma'am, should I complete the worksheets? Or probably two students together, ma'am, should we complete the worksheets? The teacher would say yes, and also to give an explanation as to why and when. Yes, you should complete the worksheets by this afternoon. I advise you to complete the worksheets before submitting the assignment. So she would give an explanation as well. The next example is a teacher to student. Should you not be working on extra sums? So now this question does not mean that the receiver, the student says, yes, it is understood that the student has to be doing the sums, but the student also has to reflect on the advice that was given by the teacher that yes, they should be uh, practicing extra sums. So should you not be studying instead of watching TV? So it directs towards an advice.
In a third way of asking for advice is information-based questions, quite similar to the previous way. Now here we use the WH strategy of asking questions in terms of when, who, what, and we use the model should. Again, like I said, should expresses a stronger feeling, a stronger outcome, instead of let's just say could, which is more optional. Let us look at the examples between the learner, probably in a driving school, and a licensed officer. The learner would probably ask, when should I apply for a two-wheeler license? Now, the answer to it can be given by the licensed officer because he has the information on the schedule and the procedure. Nobody else can give this valid advice. Secondly, the learner would ask, what documents should I bring for the driving test? Here again, suggestion you need solid advice from someone who has the information, the first hand information. Which brings us to the difference between advice and suggestions. I'm sure by now most of you would be able to differentiate between the two. But let us look at a few differences through this table. You have suggestion in the yellow card box and advice with the doctor. Do you need experience to give advice? Or do you need experience to give suggestions? When you give suggestions, you do not need any form of experience. I may not have a green card, but I can suggest, however, that you can buy a green card. But when you give advice, you need some kind of experience. So only if I have experience can I offer advice. Do you need a context as such to give uh, suggestions or do you need a context to give advice? Let us, I mean, in terms of formal and informal context. Often suggestions are given in informal context. That doesn't mean that in formal context you don't receive suggestions. It is just that most often it is in a formal setting. Let's just say in a doctor's place, in the classroom. That is where you require new advice is often given. The outcome, as we discussed elaborately, do we is an outcome expected of a suggestion? Not necessarily. A suggestion to buy a blue car or a red car, not necessarily that I follow through the suggestion. However, an outcome is expected from an advice because only if the advice is followed through will the outcome be received. Next is occupational skills. You would not probably get a profession where you offer suggestions, but you would definitely find a profession where you will be paid for, off, let's just say a lawyer, a teacher, a doctor, a politician, all of these professionals require to give advice based on the experience, expertise, and the degrees that they have achieved. So these are the general differences. Now you might be wondering, so do I, when I offer advice, I don't offer suggestions, or when I offer suggestions, I don't offer advice. It doesn't happen like that when we speak. When we speak, unconsciously, we switch between advice and suggestions. Then again, if I am a professional, such as a doctor, I can do the switch. If I'm a friend who does not own a, let's just say, go back to the car example, I would continue giving only suggestions. This is an unconscious effort that you would have because of this, uh, the first language that you speak. This is something that you already do. Here I have an example of a doctor. What sort of advice would a doctor give? He would have a medical procedure, he would give a medical prescription or the tests that have to be taken. Note that all three of these aspects have to be followed through and only a doctor can give these aspects to me. On the right, I have a few suggestions such as a toothpaste or a brush brand, the labs where I can go and get the test done or meal options like soon after a tooth excavation, should I have an ice cream or should I have curd rice? These, he would give me a list of dishes that I could eat, which is optional, right? So he would shift between advice and suggestions. 
so be mindful of the phrases and the words that you use what modal forms are you using here is a sample situation where the student wants to take part in a don dance competition conducted by the school she asks her teacher to suggest a song for her performance ismail garu could you bring uh, rachna ma'am uh, to the session please Yes, sir. Thank you, Rachna, ma'am, for joining us today. Let us have a demo of this exchange between the teacher and the student. In this exchange, Rachna Garu will be taking the role of the teacher, and I'll be the student. Yes, ma'am. Have you chosen a place for the field trip? No, ma'am. We have a lot of choices, and we aren't able to decide. Should I help you deciding on a suitable place? Tell me your choices. We'd better take your advice. We have chosen railway museum, zoo, and the biscuit factory. Why not the water park? Yes, Rachan. Continue. Hmm. There are very good choices. You should choose a place that none of you have been to. How about the biscuit factory? We can learn all about process. the ingredients and the flavors let's have a poll after the class today i agree ma'am i would love to taste some fresh biscuits we'd better inform everyone to stay back after the class for the poll so in this exchange you would see the difference between advice where the teacher says that probably the biscuit factory is better off simply because we can get to learn the process the ingredients and the flavors and also she makes a suggestion of getting everybody's opinion through a poll so that you'd see the shift in the way or she communicates thank you rachna ma'am all right so let us look at a few classroom activities this is a sample classroom activity that is uh, presented here on an in an evs textbook on an english textbook rather on three butterflies you have a valuable resource of the face sheet the face sheet has a few questions that teachers can use to start a discussion on the topic maybe you could use two or even one form of a suggestion and one form of an advice using can and should note that you can come up, come up with multiple tasks in terms of a role play where they practice the phrases or a discussion based on the questions that are given or even planning a project such as setting up a butterfly uh, garden in the school or have a debate if you look at the questions they are very self reflective and require a lot of discussion where children can get to suggest and also offer an advice advice perhaps that one of the students have a garden and have a lot of butterflies visiting that garden at home so there is an experience that comes forward in the classroom the questions that are given in the face sheet here are the lesson is about butterflies and how the rains get the butterflies wet and then the sun appears and the wings get uh, all dried and they get all happy in the garden so the questions here are what do you see in the picture do you like to play in the rain what do you carry when you go out in rain if you were in the place of the girl holding an umbrella what would you do now imagine the amount of discussions that can follow through and the suggestions that could come pouring and advice as well so you are tapping in to your learners experience you're bringing aspect from known to unknown and it could also go the other way around. so think of activities in terms by in terms of just introducing two to three phrases which that will not take a lot of time at the same time achieves your learning outcome for the subject these are few ways to ensure that they are motivated motivated intrinsically on the topic we now will have a demo by dr kodi on a similar way to embed at activities of suggestion and advice in a classroom transaction i request dr kodi to present the demonstration sir andarki namaskaram 
ఐ ఆమ్ కోడి నానాజీ ఐ వర్క్ ఏజ్ స్కూల్ అసిస్టెంట్ జిల్లా పరిషత్ హై స్కూల్ గుంటపల్లి పాయకరోడ మండలం విశాఖపట్నం డిస్టిక్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ టుడే ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు షేర్ మై ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ అండ్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఇన్ టీచింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఫంక్షన్స్ సచ్ యాజ్ మేకింగ్ సజెషన్స్ అండ్ గివింగ్ అడ్వైస్ టుడేస్ టాపిక్ ఈస్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ టాపిక్ అండ్ విట్ ఈ వెరీ యూస్ఫుల్ ఇన్ అవర్ డే టు డే లైఫ్ యాల్ నో that one popular advertisement uh, given by uh, network idea network oka idea jeevithanne maarchestundi one idea can change the entire life in the same way advice and suggestions can change the future of any individuals jeevithamlo ee salahalu soochanalu lekunda ye manushi jeevithamu konasaginchalemu manam isthu untamu పొందుతూ ఉంటాము ఏ గుడ్ అడ్వైస్ కెన్ టేక్ ఎనీ పర్సన్ టు హయ్యర్ పొజిషన్ ఏ బ్యాడ్ అడ్వైస్ మనకి అద పాతాళాన్ని కూడా తీసుకుపోతుంది అనమాట దట్ ఈస్ ద ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ సజెషన్స్ అండ్ అడ్వైస్ బీయింగ్ టీచర్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు సజెస్ట్ అండ్ అడ్వైస్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ అవర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ బట్ ఆల్సో పేరెంట్స్ అండ్ పీపుల్ so we have to solve many of the problems of our students by suggesting and advising here sometimes if anybody doesn't give any suggestion to us we go for self suggestion also for telling the importance of the suggestions and advice i'll give an example for example if you have the habit of getting up at 6 o'clock you want to change your behavior if you just relax and suggest to yourself i should get up at 4 o'clock i should get up at 4 o'clock if you suggest like this self suggestion it's an important techniques to change your habits or behavior then the next day you can get up at 4 o'clock oka company lata toothpaste company ఒక మంచి ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఒక సలహా అనేది ఏం చేస్తుంది ఒక వ్యాపారాన్ని ఎంత గొప్ప స్థాయికి తీసుకెళ్తుందో ఫిక్స్డ్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ కస్టమర్స్ ఉన్నారు సంవత్సరాలుగా సంఖ్య పెరగడం లేదు కానీ సంఖ్య మాత్రం పెరగడం లేదు ఫిక్స్డ్ కస్టమర్స్ ఉన్నారు ఎలా పెంచాలి దాన్ని హౌ టు ఇంక్రీస్ ద సేల్ అప్పుడు ఒక మంచి సలహాదారుని సంప్రదిస్తే అది నేను సలహా ఇచ్చినట్ట ఓకే మీకున్న కస్టమర్స్ లేదు ఇట్స్ ఓకే యూ హ్యావ్ ఫిక్స్డ్ కస్టమర్స్ సో హౌ టు రేజ్ యువర్ సేల్ ఈ సింప్లీ అడ్వైజ్డ్ వన్ థింగ్ ఆ మూతి ఉంటుంది కదండి దాన్ని కొద్దిగా విడాలకు చేస్తే మామూలు రోజు ఫ్రెష్ చేసినట్టుగా చేస్తే మామూలు పాత పాత టైప్లో ఉన్నటువంటి మూతి నుంచి తక్కువ వస్తుంది దాని విడల్పు కొంచెం పెద్దది చేస్తే అది ఎక్కువ వస్తుంది సో దే కన్జ్యూమ్ ఇట్ మోర్ వ్యాంగ్ నెల రోజులు వచ్చేది పదిహేను రోజులకు వస్తుంది అనమాట విల్ బై అగైన్ another toothpaste so without increasing the customers they improved the sales ante salahalu anevi we can you make use of in our day to day life in business in our future in any way so today how to teach uh, such kind of important aspects language functions in the classroom it's very very important see today i am going to interact with you how i am going to teach these language functions in the classroom first of all for learning any language we should listen first unless you listen we can't speak so we have to provide listening input that's why we have to go for different stages for teaching these language functions such as making suggestions and giving advice for example the first stage is to provide listening input second stage we have to allow our children to imitate or repeat and whatever they listen and after that we have to create number of learning experiences in the classroom and in the fourth stage we have to go for production and finally we can assess them 
they can make use of these long list functions anywhere everywhere at any time in their day to day life so let me share my way of approach in teaching these long list functions in the classroom now see here i have taken a lesson as a tool a lesson as a tool to teach these long list functions family from evs lesson what is summary of this lesson the lesson describes the relationships among the members of a family an extended family and changes in families and this lesson describes different types of families like nuclear family and joint family these are all described in this lesson how different types of home appliances are used nowadays is also described in this lesson that is a um, summary of this lesson but our major objective is with the help of this lesson by taking this lesson as a tool how to teach uh, long list functions such as making suggestions and giving advice okay now see what is the plan for this so what are our objectives to enable our children make use of suggestions and advice and through this lesson children understand family relations children know how the home appliances are used for that these topics at these uh, language functions we have to be introduced in the classroom how to introduce if you introduce orally we can't draw the attention of our children so you have to do something new then only they can be attracted towards us so here i planned a show for them to give to provide listening inputs after that all the students will be divided into three groups and each group is given a situation and whatever situation i provided through pictures the same thing they have to do in the classroom as a real situation by taking the roles okay then they prepare a small skit with roles students use the sentence structure to suggest or advise during this discussion finally the students uh, present the play in this uh, uh, classroom situations they may use or we can provide uh, some teaching learning material like pictures puppets and masks finally after all these classroom experiences we can go for final assessment okay now see what is going on first of all i am going to provide children all of you listen to me today i am going to present a nice activity that is a role play a show you have to observe very carefully whatever new functions or new terms or new patterns you find out register in your mind after this show i will ask you what kind of new patterns you have received through this discussion okay so try to catch try to register the new patterns in your brain okay okay let's start watch carefully and observe how they are making suggestions and giving advice you too have to make suggestions and give advice are you ready okay dad dad let's go to picnic dad what boy picnic we can't go my dear son you should not go out due to covid 19 we have more holidays dad what shall i do at home you had better stay inside staying at home for a long time it's so boring dad your handwriting is not good you know why don't you improve handwriting oh handwriting shall i play video games in your mobile dad it would be better for you give up playing mobile games i have been suffering from toothache for one week dad for one week if i were you i would meet the dentist I think you are so busy dad with your work shall i go with my mother okay 
but you should take care of yourself okay dad you should put on mask okay dad it would be better wear gloves okay dad if not you had better take sanitizer with you okay dad i would advise you to maintain physical distance okay dad can't it be possible wash your hands frequently with soap okay dad it's better go now let's move okay dad let's move children they watch this one and they register the new patterns of this language functions uh, like making suggestions and giving advice and they have given uh, they have been given listening input of that they'll try to identify the registered patterns with this list given here and we can go for next is imitation and repetition of these patterns children all of you look at that uh, uh, board and see here what are the patterns to be used for giving advice and what are the patterns uh, to be used uh, for making suggestions come just repeat and say after me come on you uh, should or you should not he should or he should not she should or she should not you must he must or she must you had better i think you should if i were you i would i would advise you to i would recommend if i i was suggestion i would so the pattern for suggestions you see why don't you may i suggest that shall we you could or we could let's and let me what about how about why not see these are the patterns i think uh, you can identify whatever you listened and registered in your brain when you when you watched uh, that puppet show okay children now you i am going to divide you all into three groups i am giving you a task each you have to do very well then who will do well now i'll give them a reward for you okay now you see look at the picture you have two situations i am giving here the first situation is uh, grandpa uh, geeta she visited her grandpa house and they were watching a, a photo a old an old photo this is first situation second situation now uncle niece nephew potters and uh, father and everything they are now the situation is uh, a gentleman has been transferred to some other new place so they are shifting their luggage at the time the old man and porters and what suggestions uh, uh, they can give and advice we have to um, prepare like that and third situation third topic is see here a mother was joined uh, to give birth to her baby then the elder girl elder daughter and her mother and husband went there to visit this is the another situation see each group take one situation and perform it in the classroom okay you have to make use of the patterns whatever you have repeated now and whatever you had in uh, during puppet show okay children now let us go for topic 1 what is the possible conversation what is the possible suggestions you can give just observe by asking question i will ask you questions just as answers you have to give suggestions okay children now you see here i think you understand the situation what suggestion can deepika give can anybody tell can any student respond to this question how can deepika suggest here okay very good see deepika grandpa can we change this photo place then what could be the grandfather's response ah huh, come on anybody very good why not Next again, Deepika is going for another suggestion. Shall we put it in the hall, Grandpa? Oh, Grandpa. Oh, okay. Let's change. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Kodi Garu. Can we have What? Rachna Garu take the role of Deepika, and you could take the role of Grandpa? Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Sure, definitely. I request uh, our uh, Rachna, ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay. Tell me this. Uh, So, so turn your video, madam. Yes, sir. Rachna ka. 
Uh, children, Deepika, who can, how can Deepika suggest? Come on. Karina, Karina. Karina. Switch, switch on your video. Yes, sir. Grandma, can we change this photo, please? Why not? Shall we put it in the hall? Okay, let's change. Why don't we change the color of the frame? We had better not change the color. Okay, Grandpa. Let me take the photo first. We could clean and change, okay? Okay, Grandpa. Okay, thank you. In this way, children come forward to suggest and they play the role. Children, other groups, have you observed how they performed? They performed very nicely, excellently. Now, come on. Uh, second group is invited to present their situation here. Topic two. Come on, see here. A gentleman has been transferred from one place to another place. But actually, uh, the gentleman's father, uh, he doesn't like uh, to let his son go away with luggage. So, how? How can they? Uh, see, there are a number of uh, possibilities to give suggestions and advice. For example, first uh, suggestion or advice, you can say like this, uh, grandfather, son, if I were you, I would not change my luggage like that. See, for example, see, what is another possible advice from son? It's better hire a van. Father may say like this, it would be better hire a lorry than a van. See, both are suggesting each other. And we can ask our children, how, what is the possible suggestion can father give here? Our advice. Then I'd like to interrupt you as well, uh, Dr. Kurigaru. Let Rajnavan yes, take the role of the son and you yes, can take the role of the father. Okay. Yes, please. Ma'am, Rachana, ma'am? Yes. It's better yes. hire a van, father. Oh, it would be better hire a lorry than a van. Pa My dear son, why don't you call two more porters? It's okay, Dad. It would be better take cupboards first. Next, this is the uh, suggestions uh, uh, between father and sons. You know, they are while they are working. Quarter one, ma'am, I am going to uh, play the role of quarter one. Uh, it's okay, sir. See, father says it would be better take cupboards first. Now, quarter responds immediately. It's okay, sir. And again, quarter one. Just I'll say, Ratna, ma'am, will join as quarter two. Let's pack all pillows. Shall we bring a trolley? Why not? And again, father comes in between. If I were in your position, I would not shift the family. Uh, what you son? should carry the luggage carefully and should not carry heavy things alone. Okay. Okay, sir. What I said. Like this, the students involved in their respective roles and they try to play this uh, uh, situation Class, in the classroom itself. So other groups observe how they are used in these language functions. Okay, now children, all of you encourage them. You class, they performed very nicely. Now I invite uh, uh, group three, just you come and present your uh, situation here. The situation here, you understand, I think. Come on, you can play your roles. I request Rasina ma'am to play the role of mother. I am going to play the role of Deepika. Deepika? You should be careful and keep clean around the baby. Okay, mom. You ought to clean your hands before you touch the baby. I'll do it, mom. Why don't you take my help, mom? Deepika. You could help. Uh, Sorry, why sir. don't you take my help, mom? You could help in folding clothes and arranging toys. In between, grandma interferes. Enter. I would advise you to use cloth diapers in summer. Then, shall we stay with you for some time? The Deepika asked like this. In this way, all the children, they involve in their uh, respective roles and they use repeatedly the language functions uh, such as making suggestions and giving advice. In this way, uh, first of all, they listen, uh, listening input through a puppet show and after that uh, imitation and repetition uh, by reading that uh, list of words or patterns, and next they underwent number of learning experiences and they exchanged their ideas and uh, 
performances among them just and finally they are able to uh, produce something okay of that we have to go for assessment here see some pictures are provided some situations are provided you can ask like this comment below the suitable advice or suggestion okay all children please try and come with your comments and immediately all children they involve uh, very happily and actively and they prepare something and they bring and they they have to say either orally or in written now i'll provide the answers for them they'll compare those answers with this uh, given list of answers okay uh, grandma you should take medicine regularly that is related to the first picture and say you i wouldn't throw garbage in river third picture see teja you had better stop watching late night movies and that related to the fourth picture i would advise you to do yoga and physical exercise nina why don't you consult a dentist and last picture no it would be better give up smoking finally the children are able to use these long list functions uh, such as uh, making suggestions and giving advice in their day to day life from that day onwards we should encourage our children to make use of these long list functions regularly in the classroom and at home also okay thank you one and all for uh, giving me this opportunity thank you purnima ma'am thank you srt namaste Thank you, Dr. Kodi, for a wonderful demonstration. I'm quite sure that teachers would have a lot of inputs on how they could introduce language function through simple tasks and activities that can be taken from their own textbooks. Uh, so, uh, give, I'm I'm hoping that the teachers would also give a positive feedback below. Uh, with this, we end the session, and we at request of the Mr. Ismail Garu. to uh, come up with the questions that can be clarified thank you very much madam so noorzahan goretla kadri she is asking uh, <coughs> can we say that advice is softer form of order or... so yes sir you can complete the questions yes that's all that's all Okay. so uh, when you talk about advice it all means uh, makes the <clears throat> makes the context a lot more uh, serious which means that it is a strong form of message that has to be followed through so any advice if you commonly if you look <clears throat> i'm sorry you go to an experienced person such as let's just say a father or a father figure or a mother or probably a professional so you wouldn't go on your free time when you uh, as such you would have an issue that you want to resolve or achieve a success out of it so automatically it has a stronger sense in terms of receiving it and ensuring that the receiver uh, you know follows through yes thank you very much madam uh, srinivas reddy inturi she is asking that uh, what's the difference between advise advise a d v i s c and a d v i c So uh, again, advice when you use C, the advice spelled with a C is a noun form. So please give me some advice over here. It would be the noun form. When you use S E, it is a word form. So she advised her daughter to uh, not play in the rain. So S when you use S, it's a verb form, and C is a noun form. Can these two words can be used by adding I advise? I advise. So when you say I. advice it, it takes the form of a verb so you will have to use se uh, i gave a valid advice it becomes a noun so there it will become a, uh, it will turn into te it becomes a noun form thank you very much madam uh, thanks for clear uh, and simple uh, uh, clarification baskar bodeeri in giving advice should should Come out to uh, to which which one is suitable to use? Advice. Sorry, uh, question is not clear here. In in giving advice, can we use should or uh, out? Which one is suitable to use? So both mean the same. Out. Can you put? Yeah, out. No problem, sir. 
so both mean the same and you can use it uh, you could replace one over the other but i must mention that when we speak generally we don't usually use ought to in very rare occasions where you will find people say ought to ought not to uh, so it's best that you stick with something that everybody can understand so should would be i would suggest you use should instead of ought to and ought not to because not many speakers use that word they are, they mean the same and they have the same impact thank you very much madam uh raghaya you want to know the difference between advice and suggestion wow wonderful question sir so i my suggestion is that you look through the entire session once again because there are a lot of examples that will benefit you to understand the difference between the two having said that i will clarify it very briefly now so the simple difference between advice and suggestion is advice is given based out of experience and advice is usually followed so keep an example of doctor in mind the doctor usually advises you because he has an experience and a degree in medicine suggestions are something that you don't necessarily have to follow through you give options that you could do a b c d remember that picture of the card that was given in the presentation so you could give suggestions of a yellow blue green card so i may not have all three colors uh, cards in all three colors but i can suggest nevertheless who is not required so likewise when it comes to advice advice is a lot more serious and suggestions is a lot more uh, in an informal context yes sir thank you very much ma'am uh, that's all for today because uh, so many questions are still there uh, the time is over no So to maintain that, uh, yeah. So yes, thank you so much uh, for good presentation, and I also thank uh, Dr. Kodina, Kodina Naji, and uh, 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 what is it, ma'am? Oh, sorry, <laughs> Rachana Benangaru. Uh, both of you, thank you so much. Uh, really amazing presentation. Uh, and for tomorrow we have we will be joined with another interesting topic for tomorrow also with uh, purnima ravigaru uh, see till then we will wait for uh, tomorrow and should uh, we apologize i apologize for uh, sorry because uh, there is a technical uh, uh, problem uh, we experience it today despite of uh, taking all the care sometimes this is happening so some power and internet related issues are there so we'll further we'll take care of that also so thank you very much and uh, we'll sign out for today and we'll join tomorrow also thank you very much thank you one and all thank you bye bye thank you everyone thank you thank you purnima madam